Welcome back. It is New Year's Eve, and for your hot sauce Yay. today, we are talking <laughs> New Year's Eve beauty tips. We're here with Christina Morelli of Beauty Queen. Now, you're the expert. Let's run down what you need to do to make sure that you have the perfect makeup for New Year's Eve. All right, so New Year's Eve, it's super important in girl world. We want to look our best that evening. So I have my girl, Brittany, here, and we did a really great, different New Year's Eve look on her. Typically, you see kind of those dark black smoky eyes, big lashes, and big red lips. But with Brittany, I wanted to create something a little bit different. I created more of a golden smoky eye with hints of brown as well to contour it and just a touch of black in the crease. This is super easy to create at home. I used all MAC eyeshadows for this, but a naked, the Naked palette also works wonderful as well. So what are the steps? How do you give us a rundown on how this kind of works? All right, so first things first, when you're going out New Year's Eve, you want to prep. Prep, prep, prep with a great primer. I have one here by Youngblood. It's a mineral primer, and this will just keep your makeup lasting all night long and keeping it fresh and just smooth out the face. So if you're applying foundation, it's an even application. I also have a really great primer by Urban Decay that's specifically for the eyes. You never want to mix your eye primer and your face primer. It just, putting face primer on the eyes just tends to make it a little more oily. We have different oils on our lids, so make sure you prime. You're good to go there. Just like a canvas, you always want to prime before you paint. Exactly, and it just creates a beautiful look as well. So I always like to start with first, just because we, we have a lot of fallout when we create smoky eye, darker looks. So I create the eyes, I finish with liner, I do the mascara, and then I move on to foundation. Foundation, if you're doing a really dark eye or you want your eye to be the feature, I keep it very neutral with the rest. She doesn't have a ton of blush on. I bronzed her though. Of course, it's winter in Buffalo, so we want to make sure that we still look bronzed, even though the sun's not out. Now, do you want to finish off with the lip that kind of balances out the eye? Exactly. You always want to finish off with a great lip. Instead of a red lip, which is super popular, I always like to cre create more of a burgundy lip instead. It's fresh. It's different and it's very on trend. Now, once you spend all this time putting on the makeup, you're going to be partying all night long. How do you keep it on? Well, primer will be key, like I said earlier. And I really love to use an Evian spray as well. Evian spray, you can get the little sprays at Sephora. They're about $8. And I just kind of keep one in my bag and I spritz as usual. You would think with spray, it would wear off the makeup, but it actually rehydrates the face and reactivating all of the ingredients. Now, we have about 30 seconds. Tell me about the hair. Do you want to just go with a straight look, loose Definitely. curls? With Brit, I decided to go for a really straight and sleek look because she has this gorgeous long mane. And I used one of my favorite new products from GHD. This is a flat iron, it's ceramic base, so it's really healthy for the hair. And it also has this really neat round tip. So if you're not into a flat hair look, you can curl your hair. And flat iron curls are really, really popular as well. All right, so well, thanks. <laughs> sorry to cut you off. Oh, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> we can see more of you at beautyqueenblog.com. That's right. And thank you so much for helping us look great through the whole night. Thank you. Happy New Year. <laughs>